came after the hard lenses because the hard lenses hurt, supposedly. Well, they kind of did if you overwore them, I guess, because they didn't let any oxygen through them. They were made from hydrogels, which is hydrogels were used in the lab for various chromatography uh, experiments. And someone got the brilliant idea, well, why don't we make a contact lens out of it? And sure enough, they did feel better. But they can tear because they're mainly water, or not necessarily mainly water, but a lot of it's water. And they felt better, really, not because they were flexible so much, it's because they let oxygen through them. Because of the water content, oxygen could dissolve directly in the water of the lens and get to the cornea. Remember that the corneal epithelium is highly metabolic and needs oxygen all the time. Now, most contact lens complications are soft lens related because of this water. If you have water in the lenses, you can get infected, you can have toxins get in there, and I'll show you examples of that coming up later in the lecture. Now, rigid gas permeable lens, lenses were formulated by companies in an attempt to fight against the, uh, the, the, the scourge, the scourge of soft lenses, I suppose, because hard lens companies are saying, wait a second, we're, we're losing business. Let's do something about it. What, if you consider the way, uh, PMMA, the, Plexiglass hard lens polymer was are just long chains of carbon uh, cross-linked together. Well, so what companies figured out, if you put a silicone or fluorine molecule, not even a molecule, an atom, I suppose, I'm sorry, an atom, in, in the middle of a matrix that actually moved these chains apart so that there would be, for lack of a better statement, holes in the lens, then let oxygen just go straight through the lens in the absence of water. In other words, these lenses had no water content, yet they let a lot of oxygen through. The problem is with that, there's more, there's less actual plastic there. It looks the same as a hard lens, but there's less plastic. So they're softer, and that's why you see your patients that you fit with RGP lenses come back after about a year and a half, and the lenses are warped. That never happened with hard lenses, but it does happen with RGPs, and you have to tell patients ahead of time, look, a year, two at the most, these are going to warp, your, your vision's going to get screwy, and you need to just replace the lenses. In fact, I'll tell you right now, if you have a long-term RGP wearer who comes in saying, I just don't see so well, and your, frac you, you, your technician takes the um, vision in a 2030, where they were 2020 before, don't go through a big production number of refitting them or doing anything. Say, oh, undoubtedly they're warped, just replace the lenses. Get them warranted so that if they don't work right, you can refract over them and see just what, you know, if the patient really did change refraction. 90% of the time, eh, they just need a replacement. So don't waste your time trying to diagnose blurred vision with old RGP lenses. Anyway, RGPs retain hard lens vision because they are rigid after all. We wanted to call them rigid rather than hard to distinguish them from the old hard lenses, at least in patients' minds. And they're more comfortable in PMMA because of their oxygen permeability. But soft lenses are more comfortable at first. 